I always like to acknowledge Harlan's birthday. I know he's with Jesus now and the, the birthdays we celebrate here on earth are just for the flesh, but he was in that flesh body for 84 years and I spent 44 of those years with him. And he was such a wonderful person, a wonderful soul. He loved God with all his heart and there never went a day that he didn't talk about Jesus and the Holy Spirit day and night that I spent with him. And I miss him. I still miss him as much as if it was yesterday. And the Lord told me that I would be with him soon. And I found this little plaque. I like what it says because it relates to Harlan. And I know Jesus gets all the credit and the Father gets all the credit. Jesus gave the Father the credit and we do too. But Jesus obeyed the Father and he came and rescued us and showed the way to us and made a way for us to receive the Holy Spirit, which reconciles us back to God, our Father, so that we can have eternal life and live forever in the kingdom of God. And then Jesus sent forth the apostles and prophets and witnesses, and they also carried the message so others could know and others could find this life. And in our generation, the whole generation has been deceived. And Jesus raised up a little hillbilly boy that didn't know anything about religion, and he taught him how to trust in him through the spirit. And then he was able to speak to him, the Bible is an idol, and he could receive it because he trusted the living Jesus Christ through the spirit. And so through him, Jesus brought a light to the world so that we can be reconciled back to God. We can know the true gospel, which is Christ in us. He walks with us. He talks with us. The gospel is not written with ink. It's not written on tablets of stone. God fills us with the Holy Spirit. And then he walks with us and he talks to us. He puts his nature in us. We know by the spirit that he's given us right from wrong. We know it by nature. We don't know it by being trained from outward laws, which is the mistake that people make that are worshiping God through the Bible. And they're, they're not really coming to him. They're seeking for him in the scriptures and they're never being regenerated. But this little plaque, it said this, there are some who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone, their light remains. Jesus is that light of the world. And he sent forth his apostles and he said, now you are the lights of the world. And Harlem was a true light to this world. He was hated. He was rejected more than anyone can imagine. But he loved God and he never quit. And he's with the Lord now. I saw him in dreams last night. I felt him in the spirit nearly every night and day. And I can't wait to go be home with him in the kingdom of God forever. I'll add that video about remembering Harlan. I know many of you have already seen it, but I want to add it to this little short intro to uh, remember Harlan because he was the true man of God, the only one I ever knew in all my life. And I'm so thankful to Jesus and the Father for him because if he hadn't sent Harlan to tell us the truth, we would have never known. Satan deceived us all through the very scriptures written about Jesus and God. And he took us from God and put us under the law and separated us from God through the spirit. And so now we know the truth and we can be controlled by directly by the living God. We only have one mediator between us and God, and that's Jesus Christ, not the Bible. I know some of you understand this, not very many, but thank God for the truth that sets us free. I made this video to remember Harlan's life for those of you who loved him but never got to meet him in person. I found some old video clips of him from a few years ago. He didn't think his guitar picking and singing was good enough to put online because he was out of practice and the audio was not studio quality. But I don't think he would mind me sharing them with you. Some of them are very serious and always about Jesus. Some of them are on the funny side. He had a super sense of humor. And at the end, I included part of the funeral service. Right before the funeral service, I put a song on that he wrote in 2010. My heart is broken, and I look forward to Jesus calling me home when my time is up here. I live a praying, fasting, and crying life now. But Jesus blesses me a lot to get me through each day, one day at a time. There's a few of you that have really been supportive of me. Some of you, some of the sisters and even the brothers have really been there for me and I thank Jesus for you and I pray for you every day. A couple of months ago, I had a dream about Harlan and he wanted me to reach out to his youngest daughter. I received a letter back from her yesterday and I want to read a portion of it to you. She said, my dad was a different man among men. 
And I know growing up, we had great times. The one thing I do know, which you touched on, is that dad was the same in the home as he was on the pulpit. He was not fake in his religion or beliefs like many. Now, I can attest to that. Harlan is and was the real deal. He was true blue all the way through all the years I spent with him, nearly 44 years. When Jesus spoke to him, the Bible is an idol. He stood up that night and told what Jesus spoke to him. The Bible is an idol. And he tore up his golden engraved Bible in front of the congregation. And he never backed down, even though it cost him everything in this world. And he received hatred, persecution, and slander, just like the saints of old did. And Jesus told him a few weeks before he took him home, you never quit, hillbilly, which made Harlan cry like a baby. He always cried when the Lord touched him. In some of the videos, he could hardly talk because of it. I had to edit some of those some of that out of the videos because he just couldn't talk. He would be so touched every time the Lord touched him. He loved Jesus and the Father so much. That was his life. He is a true saint by the grace of God and our Savior Yeshua. We give all the glory to Jesus Christ and to the Father who sent his Holy Spirit and told us this truth to deliver us from the lies of Satan and from the bondage of the curse of the law so that we could be filled with the gift and promise of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And that is our life. We, re we are regenerated by the Holy Spirit. And that is God in us. He leads us. He guides us. He reconciles us back to our Father. And he will take us home to be with him forever. There's no other way. It's very simple. I hope you enjoy the video. Preach your man. I know you're tired. Keep on doing the best you can. Got a long, hard road to hoe. Don't get much help, I know. But we're praying and we love you, preacher man. Preacher man, preacher man. I know you're tired, keep on doing the best you can. You got a long, hard road to hoe. You don't get much help, I know. But we pray and, and we love you, preacher man. Preacher man, preacher man. I know you're tired, keep on doing the best you can. You got a long, hard road to hoe. You don't get much help, I know. But we pray and, and we love you. Another road with rock that hurts my feet. But as long as Jesus walks along beside me, I can take it without me no defeat. I have questions. The loss of a loved one Wondered why it happened to me But through prayer I found the answer It was all so plain to see And sometimes a mountain Another road with rock that hurts my feet But as long as Jesus walks along beside me I can take it, there'll be no retreat I can take it, there be no retreat. He will come to the blood of water of your soul. 
Take your heart, make it fully home. Storms of life are raging, dark and cold. He will come to the water of your soul. He will calm the troubled waters of your soul. Take your heart, make it fully whole. When the storms of life are raging, dark and cold, He will calm the troubled waters, still the troubled waters, calm the troubled waters of your soul. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. Down by the riverside, I ain't studying the wall no more. I ain't gonna study. I'm pretty sure we went out hunting. It was on one Sunday morning. And although it's against his religion, he took his gun along. He shot himself some very fine quail and one little measly hair. But upon his way, returning home, he spied a great big grizzly bear. Well, the bear marched out in the middle of the road right up to the preacher, you see. The preacher got so excited, climbed a persimmon tree. I sat down upon the ground. The preacher climbed down on a limb, cast his eyes the Lord in the skies, and these words he says to him. <clears throat> oh Lord, you delivered Daniel from a lion's den. And Lord, you delivered Jonah from a belly of a whale, and then the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, the good book it do declare. And now, oh Lord, if you can't help me, Please don't help that bear. <clears throat> well, the preacher stayed up in that tree. I think it was all night. The preacher said, if you don't come soon, you're going to see an awful fight. About that time, the limb let go. The preacher came tumbling down. You ought to see him get his razor out right before he hit the ground. Well, he hit the ground to cut and rot and left, and he put up a pretty clean fight. <laughs> but the bear, he grabbed the preacher and squeezed him a little too tight. The preacher lost his razor, the bear held on with a grim. Cast his eyes, the Lord in the sky, and these words he said to him. Lord, you deliver Daniel from a lion's den. And Lord, you deliver Jonah from a belly of a whale and then Hebrew children from the thought return as the good book it do declare. Now, oh Lord, if you can't help me, please don't help that bad. <laughs> 
farmers would take a mare and breed it with a, with a jack uh, uh, from the donkey family and get a mule. Old floppy mule, you know, it wasn't uh, moon-eyed or nothing. They'd just stand around and plow the garden for 20 years. It's cheap to keep and everything. Well, this man lost his mule, this farmer, and he went down to this preacher's house, had a mule for sale. And that priest said, you sure you want to buy this mule? He said, this is a religious mule. I said, well, I don't know of any difference between a religious mule and just a plain mule. He said, I'll buy it. He said, okay, but now, when you say, giddy up, he won't do nothing. And if you say, whoa, whoa, he won't do nothing. He said, can you remember this? He said, yeah. He said, when you get on him and you say, praise the Lord, he'll take off. And when you say, amen, amen, he'll stop. And so he said, okay, I remember that. So he took off through the mountains there. You know, he's headed home. Well, a thunderstorm came up. Lightning was flashing and it hit a tree and sparks was flying. And that mule, you know, a mule's dumb, but he ain't stupid. He was headed for the barn. Boy, I mean, he was running. And running through the mountains so high, you know, where, where he was born. If you fell off one of them, you'd starve to death before you hit the ground. And so he was running that mule and... and he was thinking, oh, oh my God. He was headed right for a big cliff. Oh, 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 a thousand feet down. He was running that mule head straight. He was thinking, oh, oh, wait a minute. He's a religious mule. What? What did I say? He said, oh, he said, amen, amen, amen. And old mule pulled right up to the edge of the cliff. Stopped right at the edge of the cliff. And that guy said, Whew. praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember when we was little, didn't have much to eat but beans and potatoes, but we'd sing this song here, if you remember, a long time ago. Well, hallelujah, anyhow. Don't ever let the devil get you down. Don't ever let him see you cry. Look the devil in the eye and sing, you're anyhow Hallelujah Anyhow Don't ever let the devil Get you down Now don't ever let him See you cry Look a devil in the eye And sing Hallelujah Anyhow Anyhow. <laughs> well, you think all I got to do is sit here and say so? All right, this is 38 years with a flat tender. Mm -hmm. She's a, a rose. She's my rose. If I for sense. <laughs> yeah. mm, you, don't, the camera. you don't have you don't have the roses in the in the picture. Well, I'm gonna, um, but I don't know if I'm in the picture or not. Thank you, Lord, for putting us together and keeping us together, and for the work's sake. Thank you for this, Hill Billy. I still love him after 38 years. Thank you, Lord, for everything, even I, the yellow roses. I spoiled her. She spoiled rock. He spoiled the most. I spoiled him the most. And Jesus spoiled her too. Yeah, because, and he spoiled him more. No, I'm, I'm just barely spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Happy anniversary. Happy years. anniversary, 38 years with Pumpkin Hay. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. is the day many, many years. 38. Years with pucking, and now I think I'm some. I've lived my life with a flatlander, don't you see? She don't nothing about the country, just cactuses and sand fleas. But she's been a good old girl to me. Thirty-eight is the date We have been together 
married by the will of the Lord. He's a little bit spoiled, I reckon, but that can be considered since she's the only girl in this house. Thirty-eight is the date. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I love you, too. I love you, too, after 38 years. Thank you, Jesus. Distracting me from my concentration. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going to get it, Lord. My time's up. I've got to get off. I've done with nearly 33 minutes. You looking at my physique? Yep. How much weight I've lost? Yep. Okay, I've been 33 minutes. I'm out of here. Alrighty. She's using her Bible for a roadmap. The scriptures they tell her what to do. The twelve apostles are her road sign. You backslid. <laughs> Jesus will safely see her through. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using the Bible for a man. <laughs> That's it. I know nothing, nothing but, but the blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing, nothing but, but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'll go. Anywhere you want me to And I'll do Anything you'd have me do Make no difference about the price Make a sacrifice And I'll go Anywhere you want me to Well my friends has turned me down Cause you made me what I am I know this are a friend as kind as you I'll go on and on with you Makes no difference what others do and I'll go anywhere you want me to Yes, I'll go anywhere you want me to And I'll do anything you'd have me do Makes no difference about the price I make a sacrifice and I go anywhere you want me to. Yes, I'll go anywhere you want me to. And I'll do anything you'd have me do. Makes no difference about the price. I'll make a sacrifice and I'll go anywhere you want me to. I'm going to praise my blessed Savior's name. I will be there and I'll shout and sing. I get the glory I'm going to sing. I get the glory I'm going to sing, sing, sing. I'm going to praise my blessed Savior's name, I will forever sing in His name, for I get the 
the glory I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. You gotta go. By yourself, ain't no one here gonna go there for you. You gotta go by yourself. Some folks said John was a baptist. Some folks say was a Jew, but his street plainly tells us that he was a Christian too. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. You gotta go by yourself. Ain't no one here gonna walk it for you. You gotta go by yourself. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. And you gotta go by yourself. No one here. Walk it for you. You gotta go by yourself. I have climbed the highest mountains 
Amazing Grace is my last song. After I've lived long enough, I'll be ready to go home. Springtime follows winter, the summer winds will blow. The golden leaves come falling down, my steps are getting slow. Oh, I've lived and loved and sang my song, my heart now feels alone. After I've lived long enough, I'll be ready to go home. Springtime follows winter, summer winds will blow. The golden leaves come falling down, my steps are getting slow. Well, I've lived and loved and sang my song, my heart now feels alone. Jesus Christ face to face that Jesus spoke to him. This is a man that preached 57 years that people can know their Savior and their Creator. He's a resurrected Amen. Savior and we can know him. We don't just have to know about him from the history. He's alive now and this Amen. man is with him now. And all of those that have God breathed into us the breath of life, which is our soul in our heart. And to receive eternal life, we need the Holy Spirit in our spirit. And that's what Jesus died to bring to us. And that's what this man preached for 57 years. He wanted people to know the real Jesus. And I love him. To me, he's the greatest person on, that was on the face of this earth in this generation. And I just wanted to say that because... He was always good to me. He was honest. He was true. And all the way to the end, and he loves God. I know he's with him now. And he always will be. And I look forward to going and being with him soon. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Detail and put reason and heart. Honor guard by your commands. Honor guard and put. Four, four, half, five, two. Prepare to fly three volumes. Ready, aim, hop, aim, hop, aim, hop, half, half, two, three, and four. Order 
And by your, by your, the words you spoke a while ago over him tells me that he's a soldier of Christ. And I believe that when our veterans pass on, which means all of us have a better behavior, or else you won't let us go up there with him. You too. Yeah. <laughs> me too. We're all on the report. Thank you. He did not live life for himself. You mentioned his preaching the gospel. You know, he did that for others. And what an example he was, just like uh, Homer said earlier, what an example he is to the future generation. I hope you take comfort in the service that you're able to see today. Thank you so much. You all have been a big comfort. And that'll conclude our services today. You're welcome to come up and say your goodbye before they take his casket to his final rest of the Baby, I know your spirit's not here, but this is just your body. I sure did miss you, and I look forward to coming over there when you are. I'm going to do the best I can to continue the ministry. I know you would have wanted me to. No, my apologies. Get out of me. But I know you're with Jesus now, and you did all you could do all you want. To please him, that's all you ever wanted to do, and I know you did. And I thank you for loving me and being a good husband. I told this part of person that always loved God wanted to do the right thing. I love you now and I love you forever. And I long to come over there and be with you. I told all my brothers goodbye. Goodbye to each kid and each side. This world where I roam cannot be my home. I'm back for a land in the sky. I walk and I talk with my Lord. And I face every day upon His word. Now heaven is near and I can't say hey, oh, goodbye. Word, goodbye. Now don't you wait for me. Thank you.